Hello everyone and welcome back. In this session, we are going to observe some solved problems on associativity and precedence in context-free grammars. So without any further ado, let's get to learning. Coming to the outcome of today's session, today, we will observe three solved previous year questions on determining associativity and precedence. Observe the first question. Consider the grammar defined by the following production rules with two operators in 2 and plus. So these are the production rules. S can be rewritten as T into P. T can either be rewritten as U or T into U. Then P can be rewritten as Q plus P or Q only. Now Q or U both can be rewritten as ID. We are supposed to figure out which one of these options is true. Now, before we dive down to the options, let's examine the production rules carefully. Observe the operators. You know that looking at the production rules at once, we can figure out the precedence order, right? Now, since from the start symbol S itself, we can derive the operator into, so clearly it cannot have the highest precedence order. Now, S can be rewritten as T into P and then P can be rewritten as Q plus P. Basically, the addition operator can only be derived in the lower levels than the multiplication operator. So, the operator with the highest precedence is naturally the plus. And the one with the lowest precedence order is the multiplication operator. Now, it's time for us to figure out the associativity of the operators. Consider this production rule, T can be rewritten as T into U. Now here the non-terminal T is reappearing as the leftmost non-terminal in the right hand side, making it a left recursive production rule. So basically the multiplication operator is left associative. Now consider this production rule on the other hand, P can be rewritten as Q plus P. Observe. For this rule, the non-terminal P is reoccurring as the rightmost non-terminal and therefore it is a right recursive production rule. So, the addition operator is right associative. Alright, since we have figured out both the associativity and the precedence of the operators in 2 and plus, let's now look at the options. Option A, plus is left associative while into is right associative. Now, clearly this is not true. Consider the option B. The operator plus is right associative while into is left associative. Now this one clearly is the correct choice because that's what we found out earlier, didn't we? Let's now move on to the next problem. So observe the second question. Consider the parse tree. So this is the parse tree. Now, we are to assume that into has higher precedence than plus and minus and operators associate right to left like this. So, A plus B plus C is actually A plus B plus C. Now, there are four expressions and we need to figure out that the parse tree, that is this parse tree, corresponds to which one of the expressions. So, what we are going to do, we will try to derive the expression from this parse tree and the information provided first. Then we will see which one of these expressions match that derivation. Okay, let's begin. Now, the operators associate right to left. Basically, right associative. Focus on the rightmost subtree. It is A plus B. Now, in the same level, observe the left subtree now. It is A minus B. After these two, we will explore the next level's right subtree. Basically, we are multiplying this one with this one over here. This subtree results in A minus B multiplied with A plus B. Now, finally, the entire tree results in 2 plus A minus B into A plus B. Now, this expression is similar to these two expressions. See, the same. Here we have the same expression with the proper brackets or, well, basically parentheses. And in case of this one, we also have the same thing, right? 
So from all the five options, the option E, that is the expressions 3 and 4 only, is the correct choice. Because the expression 1 is incomplete. Now in the second expression, B and A will be multiplied first due to their highest precedence. Then the result will be added with this B, but that's not correct in terms of the tree. B is not supposed to be multiplied with this A. Rather, this entire A minus B should be multiplied with this entire A plus B. So the correct ones are 3 and 4. Let's move on to the next one. Consider the third question. Given the following expression grammar, E can either be rewritten as E into F or F plus E or F. And F can either be rewritten as F minus F or ID. Basically, E is the start symbol. Now we are to find out which of the following is true. Observe the options. All of them are talking about the precedence. Now look at the production rules. E is the start symbol and it can derive into and plus. So these two have the same precedence and also they are lower in precedence from this minus. See, E can generate F and from F we can derive the minus operator. So minus is the one with the highest precedence order. Now look at the options. A states into has higher precedence than plus. Well, no. They have the same precedence. Coming to B, minus has higher precedence than into. Well, yes, it is the correct option. C, plus and minus have same precedence. No, they do not. Minus has higher precedence, right? Option D, plus has higher precedence than into. This is incorrect as well because they both are of the same precedence. So, the only correct option is B. So, in this session, we observed three solved PYQs on determining the associativity and precedence. Alright people, that will be all for this session. In the next session, we will observe some more previous check questions. So, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you all for watching.